You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. I swear by the gods of our land that my father, Akonyo Wetalo, shot and killed Obinze in my presence. Thank you, my daughter. You have proven that you are truly the daughter of the soil. We are grateful. The evidence has been proven, and we have nothing to doubt it anymore. Mm. We have to do what we can to avert the wrath of the gods from us. The youths, you have to take Akonye Wetalo far beyond the bounds of our land. And there, execute the judgment on him so that the wrath of the gods will be averted from us. Our land will be blessed and sanctified, purified, and we shall have no cause again. I'm alive, eh? What is it? Is this you? Oh, I'm, I'm alive. In full flesh and blood. Oh, more. In flesh and blood. So, no, no, oh, more, eh? You're alive? I'm alive. Hey! You're alive? I'm alive. And because of you, they have sentenced Mazu Akanyo Watalu to death. And the youth of the kingdom, they're about to bury him alive. Really? Yes. Uh, um, please, um, uh, we are there now. They are the bandy of the kingdom right now. Bandy of the kingdom. Yes. Biko Kaiga. Kaiga. Namu choko do muong keki kamga buo. Naka emelu mala. Miri zore zuga wacha. Obi mo, obi mo, uwa mo. Oluchi, oluchi, oluchi. We saw Obinze. I think he's alive. What are you saying? Obinze, Obinze is alive. lying in his grave. He's alive. No, we saw Obinze. Flesh and blood. He's alive. We saw him together now. He's alive. Yes. He's oh. alive. Obinze is alive. Oh. Oh. Obinze! Wanna to worry? Do it. Do it. I saw him lying dead. Let me find him. Be careful. Keep going, man. 
Udah bolos sobi kon. Does it mean that the testimony you made before the people here was not true? No, Igwe. I am shocked as well as confused. I, I saw my father kill Obinze. We took his body. We, I saw his grave. I am, I'm confused. Igwe, her testimony is true. Everything is still confusing to me. But I thank the gods that I'm still alive. No, man. Tell us what happened. You are not supposed to be alive. You are supposed to be dead. Wise eh? one. My life is a mystery. I honestly don't know what happened. I just realized that when I woke up, I found myself alive. I asked my friend what happened and then he told me everything that happened. for for your life <laughs> whose grave is that why is everyone quiet I asked the question whose grave is that <laughs> Open the... <laughs> whose grave is that Look, I hope Oluchi is fine. Mama? Mm -hmm. Is Oluchi okay? Mm -hmm. That grave was meant to be yours. If not for the providence of the goddess of Akimiyegui, and for the benevolence 
of the priestess of the goddess. You need to sit and rest. I don't need rest. Obi is here. Sit. Rest. I don't need rest. What I need right now is to know whose grave is that. Well, um, there was nothing meant to be a secret for me. This is what happened. <laughs> Something strange is about to happen. Something traumatic. This may be the last time that you will see me. But whatever happens, know that my spirit will remain with you. Yes, Tom. What's the one you see? My son. Yesterday, a critical call came to me from the shrine of the goddess, Akim Miligwe, and I had come immediately to get you. I abandoned my marriage plan with my wife-to-be because of the urgency of the message. Unfortunately, on getting to see you, it was already late because we could not beat the time to come early enough. But then, as a wine instruction was to bring you dead or alive to her as soon as possible. But then, according to the instruction I received from Ezawaya, if we happen to meet you dead, we must bring you in a secret of every member of the land, and so to confuse everyone with dog a grave before their very eyes. <laughs> So to keep the instruction of the Ezawaya, we had to wait until evening when everyone is gone and we hurried and covered the grave to create the impression that you were buried. And so in secret we moved your body when no one was there and went through the bush paths and out of the praying eyes of anyone. And through the night we labored to take your body to Ezawaya as she commanded. Eventually we got to the shrine late in the night and it looked like the priestess had exhausted her options. And so, she ordered that your body be taken into the shrine. I waited for so long while the Ezen wire and a maiden performed the ritual in the shrine. Then in my slumber, I woke up to see you walking. It was indeed sight beyond belief. Ezen wire made a life sacrifice to restore your breath and gave life to your body. And so consequently, she lives no more. So we brought you back home in the night while everyone was asleep. I wished you had done. 
as commanded by the priestess in the last instruction given to us by the senior maiden who took the mantle from her. That was all that happened. And we are grateful to the gods. Now you have your life and your breath again. <laughs> the destinies of the gods. And you must know more how we give you life. Because that was our instructions. <laughs> Okudili, my good friend. It pleases the gods to put my life in your hand and also deliver me from the cold hands of death. I am most grateful. You're welcome. My son, Mama, send my regards to your betrothed. Hmm? We'll visit very soon to celebrate your marriage. Hmm? She'll be glad to hear that, Mama. <laughs> Good. I want to also apologize for all the inconveniences I must have caused you. Please, tell Uloma that I will come personally to tender my sincere apologies for ruining her day. Uloma, my wife, is a woman of understanding. Oh. She would rather be happy, be alive and strong again. We have to go now. Please remember, you must not mourn the life you live. Because the life you live is our death. Stay away, my friend. Go well, Thank you. Go well. Thank you very much. Mama. My son. Thank you. Go well, eh? Thank May you. the gods guide you. Thank you, Mom. Go well, son. Thank you, Mom. What is it, son? You don't have to blame yourself for what happened. I must see Oluchi now. I forbid you to see that. You must not say it. What? My mother. If Ezewa is dying wishes, I do not mourn her. Doesn't it mean that I need to continue in the pursuit of my heart desires? No. No. I must. Please don't. Don't. Wanna to worry, Kiki Kangabo, Mirionezo, Kiki Kangabo. So you see, I died, but um, my life was restored to me by my grandmother. Yes, yes. the goddess of Archimedes, the goddess of the sky. She gave her life in exchange for mine. This is a mystery. Quite unbelievable. I know there's a wine. Does it mean that you are the son of a goddess? Yes, wise one. Hi. So, what will be the fate of Akonya Wetaro now? Um, Igwe, if you would permit me to speak in this matter, I would like to say that we should please spare his life. Yes, the gods restored my life. So let us leave justice in the hands of the gods. Nedu, I do not understand why you are angry with me. Your father shot me with his gun and wanted me dead. Did I not warn you? 
I want you to stay away from my family, did I not? Nedu, what has come over you? Nedu, you have lost your sense of reasoning. Why are you allowing your heart to boil over in anger? You should blame Papa and not us. Oluchi, I don't have time to banter words with you. I have saved my mind. Stay away from my family and never ever cross our path again. I swear the gods bear me witness, I will do something nasty if you ever cross my family again. <laughs> now leave my house at once. Leave before I do something nasty. Nedu. Why are you going to without much clothes? I have to go and mourn my mother. I know I have caused you and your family a lot of grief and sadness. I know you're angry with me too. I believe your anger is justified. But please, don't hate me for what happened. At least let us thank the gods for restoring his life. Be me. Don't be too upset with me. Oh? You will drink from this and go and give to Binze and then get me the pot. Obe. not to kill him. That was a step too far. You had a wish. Yes! I wanted Obinze's love and not his life. To what use would his death have been to me? Your wish is inferior to mine. Obinze dead me and nobody does that. Papa, Obinze does not deserve to die. To think that you used me to achieve your devilish motive. That is not fair to me. Your heart desire is no more important to me. Obinze challenged me, and that made him my enemy. And the war between daughter and father is about to start. <laughs> I was 
I should give you enough time. I've given you enough time. I've waited. Eh? I didn't hear from you, so I said, let me come and meet you. Meet me for what? Listen, the only place where yes means no is in the latrine. I don't have time for your nonsense. If you know what is good for you, just get out of my sight. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. You promised that you will bring Nedu and I together. That uh, Nedu will marry me. I'm not going anywhere. Oh. No man in this kingdom has touched me. Nobody has even pep my body. I kept myself for my Nedu, for my husband. And you're telling me that I should go. I'm not going anywhere. Do you know the issue that I'm making in this kingdom because of Nedu? I'm not going. If I sleep, it's Nedu I see. If I dream, it's Nedu I see. He's my husband though, and I must marry him. I now know that you are, you are mad. Raven, mad. Look, look, look. I don't have time for rotten mangoes. If you don't get out of my sight now, eh? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going Look at her. Will you get out of my sight before? <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. Yeah. Naked. Hmm. What happened? I have been waiting for you. You still remember our last discussion? Where I told you my thoughts towards you. Please respond to my proposal. Hmm. Nedu. <laughs> what proposal are you talking about? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, I feel. Don't tell me you've already forgotten what we discussed about. When I told you I want to marry you, and you said you were going to think about it, have you forgotten? So, you still think about that? After the evil your father committed in our land? You mean, you still expect me, Ifoma, to marry you, and then get myself in the nest of your evil family? No, 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 no. I am still talking. Wait, I'm not done. No. I think I am wise enough to know what is not good for me. Nedu, I am not getting married to you. And that is final. For please, don't ever stop me. In fact, this should be your first and last time you will ever stop me. Evil family. Ifoma. Please get out of my way. I will not be allowed to see all to join in marriage with that godforsaken boy called Obinze. Never! Oh my man, not after all the shame and humiliation he brought to us. You want to give me? Eh? All this punishment are with her. My bitterness with Tobin has gotten to the brim that I do not wish to see him anywhere close to my sister again. If I see him close to Oluchi, Mbenye, Mbesaya, I'm sounding this warning just in case any of you thinks otherwise. Papa, I am going to fight Tobin. I am going to fight him. And if the God saved his life the last time by restoring his breath, this time, they cannot save him from my bullet. Oh, you put your nose up. What's that? You see? You want to see me? Yes. <laughs> now I know I have a son. A true son of his father. A progeny of a progenitor. Eme Anyimele. Aga Anyimele. Emele. Our love is full of sorrows and troubles. It appears as if the gods are not on our side. A lot has happened to us since we came together. What should bring us peace and joy has brought us nothing but agony and restlessness. Of a truth, my love. It would have bothered me if we did not go through such hard times. My love, 
you must understand and accept that trials and tribulations are the vivid signs of true love. It is too much. It's not too much for what we share. The gods are on our side. I promise I will keep you safe, happy for the rest of our lives. If the gods could give you back your life, it only means that we're destined for one another. should know who Papa is. Why did you conspire with him against us? Why? I lost my mind to greed and selfishness. I have not been a good person. Please forgive me. I never wanted him dead. I never wanted him. no grudges against you, but it's a good thing that you apologized. Hey, hey, stop there. Where are you coming from? I went to the riverside to check on the garden egg we planted there. The dog knows the owner. The owner knows the dog. You're becoming strange to me. Very strange. 
Papa, I do not understand what you're talking about. Afagefula, Afamefula, Kegefuna. Cognet, ye say you can hold your name, Maka. Momo, when I forgot for any. He made my nap over on him, and Jasina Gamar. Shaki! Hm. It's a pity, my daughter, that knowing that your father does not take it easy with his enemies, yet you chose to stand on my way. How foolish of you to stand with those who stand against me. The simplest thing I do to my enemies is to get rid of them. And since you have become my enemy, tonight you will sleep and work no more. It's what it takes to stop seeing him around. Then I'm ready to kill him and face the consequences. Onyekabu! Onyekabu! What is wrong with you? Eh? Look, let me tell you, if you must emulate anybody, let it not be Papa. Because if you continue like this, what awaits Papa will await you. Hey! Mm -hmm. 